Hey guys, I'm Jesse from the YouTube channel Jesse the Reader, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Epic Adaptations, the series here on Epic Reads where I keep you in the know on all the recent YA book to movie and book to TV adaptation news. Today's news is full of lots of wild things that will make you want to run to your bookshelves and read, read, read. That way you're all prepped for all these upcoming adaptations. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first bit of news is going to shake you to the core. It's gonna leave you shook. It left me shook. It shook all my socks off. All my socks have since disappeared. Can somebody around here get me a sock? Okay then. Anyway, the news is is that the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan, the iconic series that everybody seems to love, is currently in development to be turned into a series for Disney+. Plus. Shook? I mean, shook. I told y'all this news would shake you up. I mean, you might hear that bit of news and be a bit skeptical, as everyone feels some kind of way about the original Percy Jackson adaptation, but, and I mean a big but, as in B-U-T. Rick Riordan himself, the author author of the Percy Jackson series is going to be involved in this series. And it appears that he's going to have more control and more say in this adaptation, which is a great thing. Whereas the last adaptation was completely out of his hands. And we saw the outcome of that. Oh yes, we did. We don't know too much yet, as this news has just recently been confirmed. But something that we do know is that Rick Riordan is going to be involved in the screenwriting process, which is a big win for all of us. Having the author involved in the screenplay is a big deal. Let's continue to cheer on Rick throughout this process and get ourselves ready to hit up Camp Half-Blood through this series. I'm seeing a Percy Jackson reread in my near future. The next bit of news is kind of still up in the air because the author themselves hasn't confirmed it, but there have been some reliable sources that have confirmed it, so I'm kind of like, what's really going on here? But I'm still going to talk about it today. But know that this bit of news is not fully set in stone yet. There have been quite a few reliable sources that have come through and said that the Infernal Devices has been picked up to be adapted by the B. BC. Now again, we don't have 100% confirmation on this. Cassandra Clare, the author, has not confirmed nor denied this bit of news. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, but honestly, my hopes are already up. They're through the roof, and I, for one, would love to see this happen. I've seen what BBC has done with some of their past series. I know what they're capable of, and that is quality content, so hopefully they can deliver that with this adaptation. Please give us the Infernal Devices adaptation we deserve, that being an amazing one. Hopefully we get confirmation on this soon, but for now, hold your horses and hold on tight, because I know that they're rearing to go. I'll keep you guys updated on this as more news comes out, even if the news ends up being that this is not in fact happening. The next bit of news is that there is a Lord of the Flies adaptation in the works, and it's being adapted by none other than Patrick Ness, who is quite a large force in the YA community. He's written things like A Monster Calls, The Rest of Us Just Live Here, and The Chaos Walking Trilogy. I always find it really cool when things like this happen, and I know what Patrick Ness is capable of. I mean, A Monster Calls is one of my favorite books, so... I know he can deliver on the writing side of things. I'm sure that he's going to bring all that he's got with this adaptation and make sure that it's a solid one. The last bit of news is in regards to a bit of a throwback series, and that's for The Babysitter's Club. I'm pretty sure I mentioned the fact a while back that this is being turned into a Netflix series, and now we're finally getting close to its release. Netflix released a 40-second teaser to get fans excited about this series, and they also dropped the release date, that being July 3rd. Not too far away, so get yourselves prepped for a binge watch. The trailer definitely gave off a bit of an old school 90s vibe, which I was living for. I was thriving off of that. The books were released around 1986 to 2000, so that kind of setting seems pretty fitting for this series, and I feel like watching it will make me super hecka nostalgic. The series follows a group of girls who run a babysitting service together, and we followed them and their friendship and all the sticky situations that they get involved in with babysitting. Again, the series drops July 3rd, so get ready. That's all the adaptation news I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts on today's episode. What are your thoughts on the Percy Jackson adaptation, the Infernal Devices adaptation, the Babysitter's Club adaptation? Let me know all your thoughts down below, and what are some things that you would like to see with these adaptations? As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next month with another episode of Epic Adaptations. Mm -hmm.